Welcome to the Egg Whisperer Show, a program exclusively designed to promote reproductive health awareness and discuss fertility preservation options. Here is your host, the Harvard-educated fertility specialist, Dr. Amy. She's known as the Egg Whisperer. Fertility expert, Dr. Amy Abazadeh. And you have yet another success story just launched by an East Bay fertility doctor. Hi, you guys. Thank you for joining me on tonight's Egg Whisperer show. My name is Dr. Amy, and I'm a fertility expert coming to you guys from California. The topic of tonight's show is how important is embryo quality? Have you ever gone into a jewelry store and had them tell you that the quality of every diamond is exactly the same? That the price, no matter which diamond you pick, no matter what the quality is also exactly the same? Probably not. Never. And I have patients who come to me from all over the world. And there's one question that I always ask when reviewing their IVF cycle history. And that question is, what was your embryo quality? And time and time again, I'm hearing the same sentence. And the sentence is, the doctor told me that quality doesn't matter. You guys, that just isn't true. Quality does matter. Just like diamonds in a jewelry store, each embryo has a different quality and that quality determines the implantation potential for that embryo. Also, like with diamonds, the grading system for an embryo is really important for you guys to learn. And embryos have a grading system similar to diamonds and I wanna teach you a little, a little bit more about that. I'm gonna show you a picture right now. This is a really cool painting that a patient made for me. This little embryo is now a two-year-old. <laughs> so I thought it would be kind of special to show this picture right now. So this is a blastocyst. It's an embryo that has hundreds of cells. It's developed five days after an egg retrieval. It has three different parts. It has the cavity size, the inner cell mass, and the trophectoderm, which are their cells around it. And each of these parts gets a score based on its quality. The cavity size refers to the fluid-filled cavity of the embryo and is assigned a number, typically one through six. The inner cell mass and the trophectoderm each get a letter designation with the scoring system, and this is called the Gardner system of embryo grading, gets a score like 5AA, 3BB, 2BA, and each of these means something different when it comes to how quality works. It's important to talk to your doctor about this because each lab provides a different experience when it comes to how they grade embryos. So what I'm sharing with you here might not apply to you. They might use a different system. And I'm gonna give you a scenario. Let's say you want two kids and you have two embryos. One is really good quality and the second one is lower quality. If you didn't know that before your first transfer, you might be really regretful that someone didn't tell you to do another cycle first before your second baby. Because what if that second baby is something that you try to achieve with that first set of embryos three or four years later when your eggs aren't as good quality. That's really hard to hear that that second embryo was lower quality at the time of that transfer. It's much better to have full transparency up front, and that's why I'm doing this show because it's so heartbreaking for me to see patients go through failed transfers for sure. It happens to me and my patients. No matter what I do and how hard I work, there are certain things that are out of our control. But if the quality is lower of an embryo, even if it has lower quality, um, sorry, lower uh, abnormal chromosomes, there's still a chance it can turn into a really great pregnancy and you can have a healthy implantation, but having the right set of expectations going in, I think really helps you if an embryo transfer doesn't work, because then you're gonna know potentially why it didn't work. And if the answer is the quality was lower, then you know that there's absolutely no reason ever for sure, but especially when the quality is low for an embryo transfer not to work. So when the embryos of low quality, patients should know that they've done everything possible and it was just the embryo that did not have what it takes. And I know doctors everywhere are seeing more and more patients over 40 and they're very worried about the quality. Meaning, if the quality is high, they all of a sudden become more worried that their success rates will be lower because of their age. And I can tell you that there's a lot of really good research showing that quality matters most. That if you're 40 with a beautiful quality embryo, that you have the same implantation potential if you had been 30 with that same quality embryo. And I'm just gonna quote you some I'm gonna just quote you some statistics, too many surgeries today, from a Cornell study that was recently published. 
Here's what they found, that excellent quality embryos are associated with much higher implantation rates and live births when compared with lower quality. No big surprise. They also showed that maternal age at the time of the egg retrieval does not affect the success of implantation or live birth. That means quality matters most, not the age of the uterus. They also found that concerning the three components that I showed you here of the embryo grade, they saw the gradings of the inner cell mass and trophectoderm. I'm just going to point those out again to you. So the inner cell mass, sorry, that's the inner cell mass and the trophectoderm. They had the most influence on pregnancy rate, while the cavity size does not correlate with outcomes as much. So what that means is the letter scores are more important that number than the number that you see in front of the embryo. So I'll give you an example. A 1AA is better than a 2BB, meaning the A's have a higher implantation rate than the B's. Thank you guys for watching this show. I have one little sneak peek, <laughs> sneak peek, uh, no pun intended, that I want to share with you. If you've been watching this show for the past couple of years, you know that I have been in develop, I've been developing a pair of pants called the Egg Whisperer Pants, Comfort for Fertility Care. And what you'll see here is that there's a discrete opening that will allow your doctor to do procedures like place a speculum, do IUI and ultrasound without you having to be vulnerable during your visits. No more waiting half naked for your doctor and other strangers. No need to take your pants off. No more greeting doctors with your lady parts, lady parts. That's what I meant to say. And they also put pockets in the front and the back for ice pop ice packets and hand warmers for your shots. And you can also wear them for date night and no one would ever know. You can find a link to these pants on my website, dramy.org. Thank you guys for watching. Welcome to the Egg Whisperer Show, a program exclusively designed to promote reproductive health awareness and discuss fertility preservation options. Here is your host, the Harvard-educated fertility specialist, Dr. Amy. She's known as the Egg Whisperer. Fertility expert, Dr. Amy Lazadine. And you have yet another success story. Just